Okay, in this lesson, you are going to learn how to bring G tool into the canvas and we'll see how to navigate around the canvas by using some of the tools here. So let's first import your G tool. To import, go to load tool here and you can see there are some by default G tool which comes uh, with the ZBrush installation. So let's pick some model here. Let's take the, the dog G tool. When you import, that doesn't import or load to the canvas directly. You get that here as a G, as a G tool. And now the G tool is active. You can see that uh, here in the tool area. So to actually create that, you need to drag here by holding your left mouse. In this case, I'm using a pen tablet. So I'm using my stylus on the, by dragging it, I get this. Now, if you drag again, or if you try to move it or rotate it, if you drag again, you'll get again a dog there. So the group of dog. So what you need to do is after once you drag your G tool, you need to activate edit so that it allows you to rotate or just work with the model. So click here. Now you have like four dog. What you need to do is press control N to new your canvas or clear your canvas. Now you get the final dog here. So just make, make it a habit of dragging and then just turn on this edit or you can just, you can see the shortcut that it's T. So there are three options to navigate here. You can see those in this area as well, move, scale and rotate. To, you can also use these things just hold your left mouse or pen here and you can see I can pan or move the view and I can scale it by scaling you are going zoom uh, zoom in and zoom out basically and by rotating you can rotate your view to see from the different angle you can do all those things by the shortcuts as well uh, to rotate you can just hold the pen or the audio stylus and uh, you can rotate by that way uh, to to pan you can hold alt and then your left mouse or by pen or stylus you can pan and to to zoom in zoom out which is the most trickiest thing uh, to do is uh, by holding alt then hold your left mouse or pen then release the alt and drag your mouse or pen so it's hold your alt left mouse hold release the alt then drag your left mouse once you get used to it it will like feel very normal to you but uh, at the first at the beginning you may feel it's a difficult way to do it but just keep practicing to get it then when you tumble you can see if you go just just rotate it a little bit and hold shift you can go straight to a view which is orthographic like front if you want to see the side just rotate and hold shift you can see it snap to the view like this just rotate first then hold shift okay if you want to frame your object quickly you can press f or you can just click on this option it will frame the selected tool we in this case we have just a single tool here but a tool uh, can have different sub tool in in this area so if you have different sub tool, uh, then the selected sub tool will be framed. In this case, we have just one tool. And let's see some of the option here. Uh, the first option you see is uh, to render BPR. Uh, you can just click there and you can see it's, it's rendered with the shadows and, and here there are some options which if you scroll, actually you are moving the whole canvas. So it's not like you're moving your view, it's moving the whole canvas. So uh, just be aware of that. I don't use these things much, just bring that back. Don't use zoom from here. Actually, what it does is if you zoom, it actually, it's, you can see it zoom, zooming to the canvas. Just think about it like, like an image and you are zooming to the image, you can see the pixels, you can see here. So it's not like you are actually zooming to the model. It's zooming to the canvas so you can see. So it's not the way actually you use this scale. 
Um, so just click on actual to go back to that actual canvas shape. So don't use this zoom unless you want to like zoom as a as an image. Then here is the actual and a a half. A half is the half of your document. If you click here, just you can see it's uh, like shrink down. What it does is it uh, see your size here and make it half so that your image looks very crisp and clear and aliased. So we use this when we want to save our image from GBrush or something like that. You can save this image by going document and export it as a PSD file and you can just go to Photoshop and you can save that in any format you want. And there, there is the prospective option as well. Sometimes it's very useful. If you turn off this option, you can see it's kind of uh, a true orthographic views right now like Maya. And uh, it doesn't have any prospective destruction to it. But uh, most of the time I use prospectives to to see the real depth there. These are some canvas navigation techniques. The next lesson you are going to see the process of zebra sculpting. Uh, in a single lesson we are going to see the overall process. So see you there.